My name is Mark Reynolds, and thank you for purchasing Sing Buzz Blow Play. In this initial video, I will be outlining the four main principles of the book and the approaches that I use to make your practice sessions and performances technically more efficient, which in turn will allow you to express yourself in a more musically convincing and enjoyable manner. Singing. There is no doubt that playing any brass instrument requires a very strong inner voice, a song inside your head that makes it easier for you to project your music through your instrument. The simple act of singing only reinforces that concept, and when things go wrong, turn up the volume of the song in your head. Practice these exercises by singing them, preferably with a piano to strengthen the sense of pitch. Change octaves when necessary. Even experiment with different dynamics. But unleash the inner vocalist. Your playing will improve no end. Buzzing. We all know that your instrument is a giant amplifier for what goes on with your chops and your airflow. If the initial signal from your brain to your chops isn't strong, then the end result will not be as convincing as you or the audience would like. The use of a burp or a piece of plastic pipe aids us with the issue of the lack of resistance. But please make your buzz sound sing as well. Buzzing is excellent for chop strength, but also keep the sound free, open and projected. Blowing. The concept of free blowing is something that changed my approach to playing in an incredible way. The concept is essentially that we separate the notion of the song and the wind. The song is strong in our head, but the body needs to focus on a constant, relaxed and supported airstream. Free blowing gives us the opportunity to simply blow the rhythm of the music, preferably whilst fingering the valves. But keep the airflow strong and open, not tight or hard. There should not be any sense of pitch as pitch brings us back to the song and that is for our head or our heart to work out. Sometimes when we free blow the music, we change our chops, our tongue, our throat positions as if we are playing the music and reacting to the learned problems such as resistance, poor sounding notes, etc. But if we take the sense of pitch out of that action, then we can allow our bodies to concentrate fully on creating a strong, confident and projected airstream. Play. The previous three points brings us to the whole reason for getting involved in music, namely playing. An important element to this book is the concept of Klangvorstellung, a German word meaning the concept of sound. What do you want to sound like? Who do you want to sound like? As we cannot sound good if we don't really know what sounding good actually is. We have the ability now to have access to the largest library of incredible musicians and performers the world has ever known. All through the devices in our pockets. So please go and find and strengthen your Klangvorstellung as it is in that inner voice will make your music more convincing and enjoyable to perform. The word play has so many different contexts and meanings, so the joyous and enjoyable nature of the word should not be forgotten in our music making. So please combine all four of these approaches in your daily playing. And if something isn't working the way that you want, don't accept it, but rather try these approaches. Sometimes multiple times, but always keep the Klang Vorstellung strong. Enjoy the breaks in between tries and it will become easier to tell your musical story. The airflow symbol used in these videos and at various points in the book is a visual reminder of your strong, confident, projected airstream. When you see or think of this symbol, turn up the airstream strength. Remind yourself that it is all about the air in the body and the Klangvorstellung in your head. Thank you.